after you cook, you have to clean. That's just the way it goes, really. So what happens when the cooking and the cleaning get too close for comfort? Well, you earn yourself a place on Dirty Donning and a visit from 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. This is steel wool. Pretty good for cleaning commercial walks. Pretty bad when the metal shards end up in a customer's mouth. That problem left one restaurant on the brink of being shut down. I was just watching your, your program last night say, oh, we are so lucky we did it in the, in the show. Oh no, and here we are. Chop Chop Walk on Cheyenne and Rainbow got a 38 demerit C grade on July 31st after inspectors validated a complaint from a customer who wrote, I ordered dinner for my family from Chop Chop Walk. As I was eating, I felt something poking the inside of my mouth and I pulled out a piece of metal. It appears it is a piece of steel wool. Health inspectors saw the cook using steel wool to scrape walks with hot water after each customer order. Two pads in use were excessively frayed and dirty with old food. Okay. Yeah, everything on the report is correct. I, I you don't I, disagree. I don't, I don't deny it. Okay. Manager Leo Lin says he fired that cook and is looking to hire new staff who will be more careful. It shouldn't happen, but it did. We just have to let them know change your uh, steel wood more often. Other things inspectors saw, a food handler cracked raw eggs with bare hands, wiped them on his work shirt, and resumed cooking. Also, the waitress didn't wash her hands. After clearing dirty dishes from tables, she took new orders and prepared food. We have our fault. I, I admit that, but we're going to improve it. Leo says he's embarrassed by his staff's failures and worries about their regular customers. They like our friend, our family, so we don't want to do anything to hurt them. Containers of chow mein, pooled eggs, and rice noodles had to be thrown out on inspection day due to unsafe temperatures. So did this tray of fried pork after inspectors found it on the floor. Raw beef was next to raw chicken in the same container. Tubes of employee medication were intermingled with food, and floors were excessively dirty with old food and grease. Speaking of old food, and what happened with the cabbage? There were like six heads of spoiled cabbage. I've been lazy, so I always um, order a case of a cabbage and um, we didn't put in a refrigerator. He says he plans to buy less product now so it all fits in the fridge. He'll also be doing a deep cleaning after inspectors found walls excessively soiled with black stains. Well, because the air condition and the swamp cooler are put in. So Is that what made the black spots on the wall? Yeah, yeah yes. Okay. So we just had to make sure we clean it more open. He says they're doing their best to improve their kitchen, but didn't want it on camera. It's not perfect, so I don't want to show you. But he is getting ready to show health inspectors when they come back next week. And hopefully you'll get your A back, and hopefully this is the only time you see us, right? I, I hope I will never see you in my restaurant, but I will watch you on TV. <laughs> Chop Chop Walk got the most demerits, but we've also got two closures. One on the strip at Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville inside the Flamingo Hotel Casino, and one at Maria's Taco Shop on Eastern and Warm Springs. Head to KTNV.com for details. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.